Hey YouTube, what's up? Woodman500 here with another video. Um, I promised you this on my uh, first aid kit review on um, Trek 2. We covered a lot of stuff in that review. I was very impressed with the amount of stuff that I got done in that amount of time. Um, sorry I had to break it up. Uh, like I said, I try not to drag things to it. I say my stuff and I get it done. Um, so now we're on to the fire kit. Um, the one that I made myself. And the one that I usually put in my bedroll, but right now I have it out so to show you guys. So I'm going to tilt the camera down, we're going to start hauling stuff out, talk about the, what I have it in, and uh, start hauling up stuff. So here we go. Um, this is uh, the first, uh, no, man, I've done so many first aid stuff. Anyways, this is the fire kit. Um, the the case is kind of interesting. This is one that I use. Uh, use. Um, it's a bike. It's meant for a bike. It's meant for your camera. You set your bike, your camera right onto it. Um, there's your loophole for your bike uh, rail or whatever it is. Um, uh, I'll talk a little bit more on bikes later on and when it starts getting summertime. Um, anyways. So this is what I use as a hard case, nylon on the outside, pretty waterproof, not too bad. Um, so I'm going to open it up here, oh the zippers, um, actually, K and K, K and K, I thought it said YKK, but anyway, it's just uh, good zippers by the way, uh, not too bad for what I'm using it for. On the inside you can see this is packed full of stuff, so I'm going to start hauling it out. Um, this is uh, First thing, this is my flint and steel. Um, this is a uh, this is a really big uh, chunk of ferro rod. Throws the sparks real well. Um, it's one I use. I don't use any others besides this. Um, all I do is I scrape a little bit off and then I light it. Um, don't use in the house near wool socks either. By the way. <laughs> Um, as you can see, it's Soaring Eagle, so it has the emblem on the handle. Eagle, Eagle. I never noticed that. Um, this takes a lot of practice to use. It comes with its own striker, too. Um, this takes a lot of practice to use, I find. You've got to really get used to it. Um, like, before you go out, always test this stuff out. Uh, make sure it works. Um, just make sure you know how to use it, too. That's the important thing. Um, I always test with this one. Um, it's getting a little bit down, as you can see. Um, it used to have this used to be attached to uh, this uh, the actual rod itself. It actually used to be attached to that. Um, it's the same length as this piece of cordage on here. Um, I didn't like it. I cut it off um, for the sole purpose is that I felt like I was constrained after I struck it. I couldn't pull away. It was just it was really hectic, and now I find that uh, it's better now that I uh, took the saw. Uh, you could also use a knife along this. That works well, too. Um, we'll talk about tinders here in a sec, um, for what I use for tinders. Um, next, um, I got this little neat thing. There's a lot of neat things in there. It's called 4-Dry. Um, this is a thing to keep your matches dry on. This case is really tough. Um, you got your seal along here. Um, you, you also have a little thing there for uh, hooking onto your uh, keychain. Um, really uh, tough to open up. Um, right there, that's my piece of uh, paper or uh, sandpaper. And in here, I have matches. Um, the same waterproof matches that I um, have um, that I showed you in my first day kit. Um, clip it, or you could clip it on here. I just clip it on there so that it doesn't fall down the container and get stuck. Um, but well, just works just the same. Oops. I usually just hold it down and then strike it. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that's out again. Um, yeah, just a uh, awesome little neat gadget. Um, I got kind of got double pro protection on um, waterproof matches in a waterproof container. Um, I was field test actually. I was field testing. Give me a sec here. Um, this hog ones matchbox. 
Um, I lost it in the process though. Um, that one's better because it has a screw cap onto it. Um, it's the same length that you see there where I tore it open. Um, the thing I don't like about that is it doesn't have a system like this onto it where the clip is. Sorry, I'm leaving all of it in here. Um, but other than that, it just works real well. I had no problem with it. With the loss of the course. Um, this came, this was probably five bucks, and this was like hardly at all. This was like two or three. This one was a little bit more expensive because it came with all the gadgets on it. Um, moving along, um, I got this little container here, or baggie, plastic baggie. These are perfect size for me, the kind I like these. Um, in here, I just got uh, the roll of toilet paper for not only for the obvious use but for Tinder. Um, when this stuff lights up, it's you kind of don't know it's burning. Just don't put your hands near it; it'll turn black and it'll start to burn. You'll see it. Um, I've also got some ear ear things. These can be torn off and used for uh, um, Tinder as well, or they can be used for your. Uh, Cleaning up your ears. Um, I also just got a little handle into it. It's been uh, used before, but it still works. All I got to do is fold up the wick and light it. Um, I'm in this little plastic bag. This is excellent baggy. Fits everything right there. Um, another thing I have in here is uh, snares. I got these are pre-made snares. I have one, two, three, three or four uh, snares right in there. Um, this is just regular 20 gauge wire. I'll fold them for you. Um, I'll show a video on how to make them. Just open that up there. Show you. Right there, I got uh, a couple of them. Um, something uh, cool I'd like to mention um, from Wes Strath. He did a video when he did a, actually a, a survival trek with uh, one of his buddies um, going hunting. I watched that one. That one was pretty good. I really enjoyed that one. And uh, he uh, he said that most hunters don't know how to set snares. Um, they always well, um, what most hunters say is I've always had a gun with a loaded bullet into it. Um, sometimes not always the case. I've been snaring for a good year now. I got six or seven rabbits with it. So I have pretty good luck with uh, the snares. Uh, moving along. Uh, 20 gauge snare wire, by the way. You can get different gauges. I like the 20 gauge. Um, another thing. Just got a little roll of duct tape. This would be better on a credit card because it doesn't stick to the cardboard um, when you get to the end of your roll. Just a cool thing to have. This also works really good for Tinder as well. Um, and I also have uh, some hand sanitizer. This is just one step. Jumper Breeze it's called. Uh, just a uh, good Tinder as well. I might throw in some cattails. Um, but you can get them right on your site. You don't have to take them with you. Um, that's pretty much all the stuff I use. Um, Tinder for Tinder. Uh, cedar bark is real good. We don't have any around here, unfortunately. You can check out uh, Bushcraft on Fire. He has a couple of videos on cedar bark and different types of tinders. Um, I won't get into it too much. Um, even your bandages from your first aid kit, but I wouldn't suggest that because um, they're meant for first aid. Um, yeah, I promised this video was coming. Told you guys about it. A um, little bit of neat stuff. Kind of went a little bit extensive on the time here, but pretty much perfect. Um, got all my stuff I need for fire. Uh, if you quickly before I go, if you're gonna use this um, for in your bedroll, make sure you take it out after you're done using it. Your bedroll, because um, you're gonna be looking for it. Out of time, Woodman 500. Um, thanks for watching my videos. Have a nice day. See you, YouTube.